Hi folks and welcome to um, our latest video um, for Scratch. This one is a very specific video and it's aimed at those iPad and tablet users um, out there. Um, the, the optimal environment to work with the Scratch website is a Windows based laptop or PC. Um, I do realise that there are some people out there who don't have that. Um, also, the um, Scratch website, I should say, you know, on Mac, uh, a MacBook or a Mac should be fine also. But it's more the the, the, the small devices like the tablets and um, smartphone. I should say that smartphone, it's really not suitable um, for actually working with um, Scratch. Um, but as you can, uh, you, you if you're in that that circumstance, you will realise that it can be quite limiting. Some of the things, the exercises we're doing is using the arrow keys to move the sprite or move the cat and stuff. Um, you find it very, very difficult to do because you don't have a keyboard um, that's on there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a different way of doing that, um, which we'll hope that will help you. And we're going to use the stage area where we tap on the stage area with our finger on your iPad and it should move the cat right left up and down okay um so i'm going to demonstrate how to do that with you so let's get started okay now we have two sprites we've got our cat sprite and the other um area that we're going to put some code in is a stage area where we click here okay you can see some codes added there i'll just get rid of that so this stage area when we click in okay the two areas now what we're going to do you can see the cat has an x coordinate and a y coordinate now the x coordinate again goes right through the middle and it um, runs across, so zero being here, positive and negative in terms of X. The Y axis goes right up through the middle, um, top to bottom, and obviously the positive Y being up the way and the negative Y being down the way. So we're going to use these X and Y coordinates, and we're going to tell it that if we click um, within a certain area of the screen, then we'll move the cap. Okay, um, so that's the first stage that we're going to do. So what we are, are going to um, do is we're going to click on this stage, make sure it's selected, and we're going to start adding some code here. Now, if we go to the events tab, that we can see that the um, we have a block as when stage is clicked. So we're going to use that because what we're, what we're saying is we're going to use the stage area as a touch screen so when we click on the stage it will do something in this case we want the cat to move to the right so we'll start with the, the right direction okay so from the control blocks we're going to select an if statement so if something then do something okay um now what we're saying here is we want to see um, our touch, not necessarily the cat, so where we touch on the screen. If where we touch or where the mouse touches, um, so your mouse is operated by your finger on the iPad, where it touches, then if it's greater than 150, then we want it to shift this, um, this cat to the right hand side. So in order to do that, we need to do a couple of things okay so there'll be one piece of code in the stage and another piece of code in the cat in order for that to move so two um scripts in total um so we want to go down to the operators and we want to select a greater than because what we're going to say is if our mouse x is greater than and um, we'll change that to um 150 and if it's greater than 150 when we click then the mouse will move to the right Okay, and where we find that mouse X is in the sensing part. Okay, so if mouse X, okay, so if the mouse's X coordinate, in other words, where we touch the screen, is greater than 150, then we'll do something. So this whole block, then we're going to move in to our if statement. So that's our condition, we call that. Now we're going to do something, we're going to use something which is, you know, can be quite advanced. Um, within that, we're going to do a broadcast. So we're going to send a message um, to our cat sprite if that happens. So we're going to broadcast a message. And that message, you can change from the drop-down box. So when we click the drop-down box, we're going to select new message. And we're going to say, we're going to call this new message. Um, if we click in, move right and click OK. OK, so we've given it a message. We want it to move right. Okay, if that happens. Now that's the script for the stage area. So what we're saying is when we click on the stage area, 
okay, where the mouse x coordinate is greater than 150, then we want to send this message to our sprite. Okay, now we need to code the sprite to receive that message now and to actually take action and move. So what we'll do is we'll switch over and we'll make sure we click on the cat and we'll add some code here. Okay, and the event we're going to um, add is when I receive move right. Okay, when it receives that message, um, we are going to um, change our x coordinate by 10. Okay, let's make sure that we're doing the other things that the other pupils are doing as well on the PC. And we're going to change the costume as well to make it look as if it's walking. Okay, um, and doing that. All right, so that's the script there. It's a simple wee script for um, for the cat. So if we click in this area, we can see now that the cat will move to the right-hand side. And the same thing will happen if you touch on your iPad in that area. Now, notice if I click in the other areas, it doesn't work. Okay, so we need to program the left and the right. So we will start with the left-hand side and we will move... Um, to up and down after that. So again, back to our stage area. Um, and I'm going to, rather than coding all of this again, I'm going to show you a simple way of duplicating this code. If you um, click on this script and hold, um, when you click on it on your iPad, okay, uh, you will get this small menu, duplicate. Okay, and it allows you to exactly duplicate the code. All right, um, now I'm going to change this figure here to minus 150. Um, so we're going to change that to minus 150. And again, we're going to broadcast a message. But again, we're going to change that message to move left. Okay. So minus 150 and move left. If you can't get that duplicate, if you find that difficult, you just press on your screen and lightly hold on it. And you should get the duplicate um, menu up. If not, then basically you just need to recreate the block, okay, by pulling pulling the, the blocks over. All right, so again, back to our cat, and we can do a similar thing here. We can right click, or you can press on your iPad, and like I said, and select to duplicate, or rebuild these blocks, which would be quite quick. Again, we want to change this to minus 10, because we want to move minus the other way across the x-axis and we want to receive move left, okay? So when we receive the message move left, we're going to move the other way, changing the costume. So again, um, we look at our, um, our cat and our stage just to make sure, oh, I've added a wee stage area there. Let me just change that. Let me just change the backdrops and take that out, apologies. Um, Let's just click on our script and make sure that we are getting the um, correct part. And, and what I've done here is, is greater than, so I've made the wee error then. So I do need to change this, um, actually. So I'll just drag that out. That's a wee mistake for me. It's got to be less than. Um, so if it's less than negative 150, okay. Um, we're going to move left, and we can see that works now. So I'm going to click there. Okay. So again, these numbers, you can see the cats at 57. I'm clicking away in here, the, the negative number. Okay, so relatively in this area, if I'm clicking, it'll move right. Relatively in this area, if I'm clicking, we can test it. And then it stops. You can see if I click in here more near the centre, it stops. So I have to be clicking nearer the edge um, for it to actually work, actually go. Okay, we can reduce those numbers if we if we like, if we, we can make it even tighter because, again, I'm out here and it's still working. If we want to make it a wee bit more um, sensitive, we can, we can do something like 180 and negative um, 180. Okay. And again, you can see it stops working. So it's, it's there's less space that we need to click. Okay, with more room to work. All right. Um, so that's moving uh, left and right. We're sending those messages. 
Um, let's again, uh, let's change these. So we're going to move up. So I'm going to duplicate this code here. Um, again, I need to take this mouse X out because we're going to change that because we're now working with the Y axis. So we're going to change that from sensing to mouse Y. Um, again, we are going to give it a new message. And guess what? That new message is going to be move up. And we move up the way. Um, again, we go back to our cat and we need to give it some code. Um, I'm just going to recreate this one probably just as quick. Um, when I receive um, move up, um, I'm going to change my Y. Um, change Y by 10. There you go. And I'm, again, I'm still going to do the next costume. So it looks like he's walking. Um, and let's... Um, see how we go on. Um, again, I think we've made the wee, wee error. Um, broadcast, move up, mouse wise, greater than 180. Um, let's change that figure to 150. And there we have it. This screen's wider than it is um, in terms of height, so 150. Okay. Um, you will notice that it still moved left and right, and it was moving up the way. So let's change it to moving down the way now. Again, we'll duplicate this piece because the operator's different. Okay, and again, we'll change that figure to 150. Um, and we'll change the mouse X to mouse Y. We'll give it a new message. And again, that new message will be move down. Here we are, move down. And we'll go back to our mouse and click on the cap. And we will duplicate um, again, and we're going to change y by minus 10, and we're going to change our message to move down. Okay, so move right, move left, okay, so yeah, that should work, but if I go up in here, it doesn't, yep, yeah, there we have it. Um, okay, so let's look at a bigger screen. There we go. So if you imagine this is our iPad and we're touching the screen here rather than me clicking, you hear my mouse clicking, I assume, um, then that will move the, the cat about. Now, the beauty of this is if I go up and click here in the corner, which overlaps the X and Y, you will see it moves diagonally because what happens there is um, when I click in these areas, okay, there'll be two pieces of code. That you can see both of them flashing just now. Uh, two pieces of code are executed. Okay, so it's moving um, in a diagonal um, fashion as well. All right, so I hope you find that helpful again, solely for um, touchscreen, iPad, tablet users. Uh, I'll be adding some more, some more small tutorials like this just to help you guys um, move, on, move along because I want you to make progress with this. I want you to enjoy it as much as the rest. Uh, and again, that, that um, help sheet with the code and stuff, I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. So stay tuned for our next video.